Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Time Warp Battle. Here we have Teutonic Quarter against Arab Conquest, uh, commanded by Jafalris. And that is quite the hill there. Okay, so I am not at all optimistic about this match because of the terrain. I mean, I can attack here. Attacking here would be difficult. Attacking here would be difficult. So, what to do? I mean, the problem is there's all these veteran Muslim spearmen and veteran Dalami foot, so I don't have veteran medium foot either, even though at least I have numerous medium foot. <clears throat> so instead, I'm trying to invest heavily on both wings and be ready to stretch out the center line. I did max out my missiles, even though crossbowmen are terrible at skirmishing because of the substantial number of skirmishers and master archers that Chivalrus can field. In addition to a substantial, cheap, though admittedly non-knightly cavalry wing. I don't know if these knights are going to be worth 74 points of pop, but that's what I've got, so I'm going with it. Next turn. Oh, hello. Master Archers and Arab Foot. I mean, obviously, we're not going anywhere near that, so it's not really a big concern. Three units of veteran Muslim spearmen there. Well, we'll want to shift our knights over then. We got here Baltic levies, defensive spearmen, and raw crossbowmen. Well, let's take a position on this hill. Take a look around. Camels, Lancers, and more veteran Muslim spearmen. Do we pop out? Is there any sense in stealth here? There might be. There might be some benefit. I mean, he's got to know something's back there, right? So we can pop out with the regular cavalry. I think that's no problem. Leave the knights for the moment. Although he might be able to see them just like that. I don't really know how the sidelines work, to be honest. Hmm. Maybe the intelligent thing to do would have been to cram everyone onto one side, say, and like make a stand here or here. None of that's really enough space, but stretched out like this, I feel vulnerable. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think I deserve any sympathy. Well, let's keep bringing out the cavalry then. There's plenty of room to maneuver. Okay, then next turn we can decide whether we're going to move forward or 
invite him to come down and play. Next turn. Keep inching into position. And we can start bringing out the knights then. do with the center? Do we shift to either side or just leave them here facing off? Start creeping some crossbowmen to the edge. Next turn. Yes, hello, hello. Well, looks like we might need more missile power over here. Let's bring out those crossbowmen. How many units here? Eight? How many do we have? Seven. It's already a little bit awkward. Here. Could get into throwing range. Why not? Slingers, that's why not. Okay. Good. Do we push out to cover that? Probably not a great idea, but what else are we going to do? Let's try to engage in the open. We have some squishy, squishy infantry here, but we have knights as well to try to zone the veteran Muslim spears. Let's try that. And pop out with our armored spearmen as well. Inch forward, but stay well out of range of that. Okay. Next turn. Uh See where we break. Um, okay, you piss off now. Thank you very much. We'll need these light archers to cover us against the lights lurking in the wood here. Tempted to uh, move up close enough to engage, but then the camels will just show up, so 
Not a great idea. And that is a position we are going to attempt to avoid assaulting if we can. We'll see if we can get more action going here. Next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound the bin and shoot. Maybe that's fine. You go take care of the light archers. Push out a bit. And anything in range? No, but they will be, so push the knights out, push the crossbowmen out. Got to stay out of bow shot, but that shouldn't be a huge deal. Okay, and here I think we just start shifting everyone over to the right. This last unit of knights will wait to decide what to do with. Um, let's see, do we go for a charge? Let's go for a charge. Good. Not bad. Uh, shoot. Pop out and say hello. Good. Shoot. Lance impact would actually be pretty ugly here. Fall back for the moment. Good. Next turn. Just no. Let me shift these knights over to the left and here. Draw. It's hoping they'd evade over here or something stupid.
It's height 50, okay, it's approachable. Okay, here he comes. Oh, we can't ignore this situation. Ooh. We're gonna get cohesion dropped unless we cover that flank. Because he would have moved. What? Here, maybe block them in. I don't know, maybe not, but can't be too careful. Shove into the rough ground, hopefully. Good. disappointing. we've gotten ourselves into. Uh, get you out if possible. Next turn. Better hold firm. Thank you. Oh, one volley from the lights and you break. Okay, well, shove them off map. Hopefully they stay away. Good. This is tempting.
That'll do. to join the fun. Um, please die. If we move here, we're uphill at least, but the disorder penalty is still harsh. And this hill... Okay, it doesn't entirely block our line of sight. Move here. Held firm, huh? Well, nothing for it now. They still evade. We don't catch them. Here, waste some ammo. Okay. Get away from the Dailami. You can prepare to try to hold their charge. This is all very awkward. That's what we'll go with. Next turn. That's a bit overkill. Right, well, first, since he's content not to fight here, we will also be content not to fight. And be prepared to move away. Alright, next up. Disrupted. Good. Pull back. Pull back. And turn. Advance. And turn. You can go cover the cavalry. We could charge for impact. We charge here. Well, that's nice. And then move here. Then held firm, huh? We're disordered still. Get behind. Good. You about you that's yeah, not the most enjoyable now if he charges us and when we get pushed back we can flank with the crossbowman okay you need to fall back good job congratulations etc Go for it, why not? Perfect, now shoot, and shoot. What do you do? 
Mm, you could advance over a rough ground. Maybe try to gain this hilltop. Next turn. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I've seen knights bounce off average foot, so to see them disrupt two superior heavy infantry in a row is nothing short of special. Yep, it was special, and um, I deserve it for reasons. Wow, that's not as nice. All right, hold that, please. Thank you. And bounce it. Good. Uh, you're not going to bounce that, unfortunately. Well, it's still not going well. Offer ourselves up as targets, we need to try to get at least one unit over here in support. Next turn, rally on the veteran Muslim Spears. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Blank set up on my entire center here. Disrupt with Bedouin Light Horse. Yeah, okay. We can withstand impact. We'll do okay in the melee. Nice recovery there. Annoying, still gonna ignore it. Ah, I turn around to try to catch them, they'll just run away. If I keep trying to just leave, they'll just shoot me to pieces. There's really no winning. Take some pot shots. Move to the cover of the crossbowman. Speaking of which, get you over there. Good. Keep slowly trying to switch sides.
but this is kind of becoming a disaster. Good, so we bounce to safety at least. Actually, no, stay facing that way so we continue to threaten the flank. But it's looking very grim. Next turn. Uh, the other ones rallied. Okay. And you rallied. breaks? Oh yeah. That's not surprising. Yep, blocked his fallback, charged him with the lights, now we get screwed. Yeah, the more I look at this, the more I feel like the only way I could have survived this was not moving from my baseline. Well, might as well crash in there. Cover your flank. the withdrawal of these knights. Yeah, so I was complaining a bit, <laughs> saying that, you know, the only way this could have been a draw or a win for the Teutonic side was for me to stay over here. Jafaris' textbook map reroll, so referring to in the league, we would have just rerolled this. Hill is a perfect defensive position that determines how the battle unfolds. Barg a complete buck up, which I assure is me entering into, he says. I uh, always feel that way. Every player would be hard pressed to lose on this map. City to a draw would make for boring footage, so here we are. Yeah, and certainly uh, my behavior in this match is determined by the fact that it was not a tournament. But of course, it still takes very skilled play to take advantage of things like this. It's not a, you know, I win button by any means. Disrupt on the Knights. Oh God.
Well, maybe we'll break that unit, but I kind of doubt it. Oh yeah, you. If we shove you off... Yeah, just go away, please. Just go away. How hard could that be? Switch the command off. Now you have to face your fate here. Get one more volley in. What do we bother doing here? Anything? Guess we have to keep the threat of a zone of control going to prevent them from getting in. But this should be over in a turn or two. Next turn. Nicely done. There's our 40%. Little consolation prize there. Okay, so pretty straightforward, uh, like we suspected at the start moving towards this was bad and then when we did so anyway bad things happened i don't think this really requires any great explanation there's a hill a big unassaultable mountain and a nice forest uh these are things that armies of knights and heavy infantry should stay away from so the dip thing to do would have been to sit anchor it on this maybe this or maybe just like that chilling on this hill perhaps and then sit and wait and then we would have had a nice zero to zero draw in the tournament <laughs> this not being a tournament we moved forward and slugged it out but the result was the predictable one which of course is not to say that Javaris didn't play to all his army strengths you know i probably could have gotten away with something like this against a less experienced player but Javaris is a solid division eight player and against solid Division A players, you do not get away with this. So, good game, and well played. Till next time.